especially because I'm here for this important first two plus two strategic dialogue between our two countries. It is a clear demonstration the United States uh, places uh, in terms of priority on the relationship between the United States and India. Uh, our partnership has been steadily growing since Prime Minister Modi visited the White House last June. Uh, President Trump is eager for it to continue, and he told Secretary Mattis and I that before we departed. Uh, we fully support India's rise as a leading global power, and we welcome India's equal commitment to our partnership. Our two nations are united by shared values of democracy, respect for individual rights, and a shared commitment to freedom. Given those values, India and the United States have a natural starting point for advancing a free and open Indo-Pacific. We should continue to ensure the freedom of the seas and skies, uphold the peaceful resolution of territorial and maritime disputes, promote market-based economics, support good governance, fundamental rights and liberties, and prevent external economic coercion. We know the threats to stability exist in the region, and the United States seeks to ensure that both of our peoples can live in peace and freedom. For years now, our counterterrorism cooperation has deepened through progress on terrorist designations and information sharing, and is solidified through regular bilateral counterterrorism joint working group meetings. I hope we can continue to make progress on counterterrorism today. We also hope to discuss how India can further work with the United States to achieve the final fully verifiable denuclearization of North Korea, and we should explore ways to partner on holding this outlaw regime in Iran responsible for all of its malign activity. Together, our nations can achieve our shared vision of prosperity and security as we build a relationship that will help shape the 21st century. Thank you, Madam Minister.